Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley Dixon from High Definition Beauty, and if you can't tell, I'm super excited for this video. I did this beautiful blue and purple sort of halo look with a bright white inner corner, and I kept it real simple for the look today. We don't even do the face makeup, so I hope you guys enjoyed. So you know the drill, let's get right into it. We're just gonna get right started and I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape on my eyelids as a primer and we're going straight into the eye look because I already did my all my face makeup off camera and I also did my eyebrows so we can just start with the eye look right away tap this primer in And next I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Night, or not All Nighter, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to put a little bit of that, of that on my eyelids as well. So now that our eyelids are all primed and ready for eyeshadow, we can jump right in to our Day 1, which is the James Charles palette. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush like this. And I'm going to go into pinkity drinkity and I'm just gonna start in my crease and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of skip also tap off the excess and I'm gonna do a light crease and go nowhere on the eyelid except for the crease so that's just a quick pink moment on our eye just to use as a transition shade for the purples and blues later and I will fast forward the other eye and I'll be right back. Now that I'm done with the pink moment on both eyes, I'm going to go in with Love That from the James Charles palette and I'm going to add just a tinier sort of lid color just right under that pink but keeping it definitely just in the crease. And now moving on to the next step, I'm going to go in with a little bit of single on my brush and I'm just going to go in the outer corners and the inner corners of my eyes just to pop in that purple really quick before we add the dark purple. Okay guys, now we can move on to the next step which is the dark purple and that from the James Charles palette is called Escape. I'm gonna take that really, really lightly on my brush. And then after we apply it with the fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush to just to add a little bit more of the detail in there. So I'm gonna go in with that dark purple on the brush, put it on the outer corner of my eye, just to deepen the crease a little bit and add a little bit more shape to our eye. Now I'm going to go back in with Escape on a pencil brush this time, like this. I'm just going to go on the, like, from our halo eye, I'm going to go at the very top of the halo eye, just so it doesn't get all muddy and messy if I use the blending brush. So I'm just going to go on the top of the halo eye with that pencil brush. I'm going to bring it into the inner corner of my eye as well. And now I'm noticing I'm losing a bit of the pink in the eye look, so I'm going to take that pink again on the fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go back in and just add it back in to make sure that we have that transition shade. Also, adding the pink can kind of blend all of your purples a bit more, like, to get a more cohesive look, just because it can get a little bit, like, muddy when you're just putting on so many shadows. So, adding that first step in the pink will really help the look come together. And now we're going to go in with the blue, which is exciting. So I'm going to go in with Playground on my pencil brush, which is a little bit stained from the last time I did this look. So yikes about that, but it's okay. So I'm going to go in with Playground on my brush. I'm going to really pack it in there. And I'm just going to just straight up pack it on my lid. Now once we have that blue shade on there, I'm going to go in with that really, really light blue, which is called 
Hello from the James Charles palette. And I'm actually gonna take that on my finger this time. I'm just gonna dab that on the middle of my eyelid just to add that shimmer and shine to the look. And now once I'm done with the shimmery blue, I'm gonna go in with my pencil brush again. I'm gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime. I'm just gonna get the brush wet a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with that shimmery shade again and a little bit of the white in the James Charles palette just to add a little bit more of that shimmer to the center of my eye. This will really bring out the colors in the palette and it'll really make your eye look like- It's really popping. And now with that, the eye look is almost complete. How exciting. I'm gonna go in with this really, really, really tiny pencil brush. I don't know if you can even see that, it's so tiny. And I'm gonna go in with Playground again on my brush. I'm gonna put that on the very center of my lower lash line. And now that we look kind of crazy with all this blue weirdness on our eyes, I'm gonna go in with that light purple that we used earlier, single from the James Charles palette. I'm gonna blend the whole thing together on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take that same itty bitty bitty pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with that shimmery blue from the James Charles palette called Hello. And I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lower lash line. We're basically repeating what we did on the top, but on the bottom and without the pink. And now the look is almost complete. I'm just gonna go off camera really quick and clean up my face and then I'll be back to do lashes, eyeliner, and mascara. And I'm back from cleaning up the face. And as I was gone, I decided that I kind of wanted to add a little bit of a white inner corner just to make the look pop a little bit. So I'm going to go in with Flashback from the James Charles palette on that same little tiny pencil brush. Well, not the same, you know, like a clean one. And I'm just going to pack that on the inner corner of my eye just to give us a little pop of white in our inner corner. And it'll really make your eyes pop and just the overall look really stand out. And now the white is very strong since the James Charles palette is very pigmented, but I wanted a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner. I'm just gonna add a little bit more into the inner corner. So again, taking my NYX white eyeliner, I'm just gonna do like little dots on my inner corner just to make that white seem a lot more bright. And now that white is extra popping just the way I like it. So now I'm going to go in with the last few steps, which are lashes, eyeliner, and mascara. And I'm just going to fast forward through those, of course, and I'll be right back. Here I am putting on my mascara. Cue the intense gluing session. Then we got to add in that quick dance because I'm excited about the lashes, of course. Got to make sure they're nice and dry so they stick very well. Take our time with this one for sure. Then apply the lashes nice and easy. That last drying session, make sure they're all good. And don't forget the liner. And now the mascara, eyelashes, and eyeliner are all complete. And now the final steps are highlighter and then we'll be all done. This look came out like so amazing. I can't even explain it. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. And I'm just going to set my face really quick. And this look is... <coughs> So I'm setting my face just so the highlighter has something to grab onto. And I'm gonna go in with face from the James Charles palette. Let's see, take a little bit on my highlighting brush. I'm just gonna hit the cheeks real quick. Get that glow. I'm gonna hit the other cheek real quick. And now of course we wanna hit the nose. And then the bridge of our nose. A little bit on the temples and our chin and then our cupid's bow because highlighter is amazing <laughs> and since this look is very like outer spacey I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink highlighter which this girls get ready for this so it's from the morphe 35 os palette and it's this shade right here you can tell I use it a lot and it just has 
So it's an eyeshadow, but it has like this slight sort of pink shimmer to it. And it is like my all time favorite pink highlighter. I'm not about that whole buying a whole pink highlighter palette sort of thing when you can literally just use this eyeshadow right here. I use it for literally everything. And it's so pretty. Like it gives you like that really, really nice highlighter look without being a highlighter. It's an eyeshadow and you get an entire palette with it also. So there's no downsides to this. I'm just gonna hit the tops of all those places again. And there we go. Yay, girlies, the look is all complete. I'm so excited how this turned out. I feel like I say that every time, and every time it's like my new favorite look. But this one is like truly a really good look. And I decided to start a new thing where I start naming my looks. And I'm going to name this one A Starry Night. Just because it has that purple sort of blue vibe of the night. And then the white inner corner with the highlight sort of being the stars. So yeah, that'll just add something fun to the videos. And don't forget to comment down below any questions, comments, or concerns you have. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, guys.